Hello there, this is Tim. I'm back for another video. This time I will be demonstrating iOS 1 versus iOS 5, the mail application, and how that has changed over these years. So to begin, let's just dive into the mail app as to uh, just creating an account. So I'm going to create an account in mail to just show you one key difference here. So when I go to create an account, I've got different options here. But the thing I want to show you is the password. So password, little tiny text there, versus the password of today, uh, big bubbles, plus you get to see a letter preview of the last letter you inputted. That's a change, a noticeable change, something I wanted to just begin with before hopping into the mail app itself. So with that, let's just hop into the mail app. Uh, one thing you'll notice is the icon. Icon has changed a fair amount. Uh, it's smaller now than it used to be, the icon itself overall. And you'll notice as a text, uh, a bubble for how many texts, how many messages I still have to read. That is an option that is not able to be turned off on the original iPhone. That's something interesting to note because that's kind of a big thing for a lot of people. I don't like to have that bubble on. And the original iPhone, it must be on. So uh, things off the bat. So inboxes are separated up at the top versus accounts at the bottom. So all your quick access to the inbox is now present. You have all your inboxes, so you're able to unify inboxes that way. Uh, in the old iPhone, you simply had your accounts, and these are listed without any pictures. So you didn't have any pictures to indicate Gmail versus iCloud. So let's just load an iPad possibilities. Let's load an iPad possibilities. Uh, some differences here. Actually, let's not load that because that's not fully loaded yet. Let's load in Gmail. So we got Gmail loaded in. And you'll notice some things. First off, I have access to all these different things here. I've got folders, all mail, stuff like that. That's not even present here. So if I go into inbox, let's just open up this guy here. And let's open up this guy here. So some things to notice off the bat. Uh, yeah, I'm able to hide this here, same as it was before. And overall, uh, this is very similar. I'm able to trash it or as it is now archive, I'm able to move it to folder, same thing there. And the icons overall are very much similar. If I hit this button here, you'll notice the creation field is very much similar as well. So not much has changed there. Uh, you'll notice the edit, when I go in the edit here, I'm able to select multiple things and do that. So I'm able to select multiple things in the new iOS versus this one, it's one at a time delete, which is not a good thing. You're able to swipe to delete, but uh, yeah, so you're able to do multiple selections. I'm able to mark stuff, so I can mark stuff, flag it, or unread it, uh, something you can't do on the new, on the old I, iPhone. So that's just something to know, and uh, that is, I mean, basically all that has changed. It's a lot more basic on the original, and uh, I believe that's, that's all of note, and with that, I will leave you guys for today. I will be back for another video comparing iPhone 1 versus the 4S in future videos. Uh, aloha.